Red Spank steak and potatoes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's that flavor right there. All right, guys. So for today, we're going to be making a soy-free, gluten-free steak. For those who have the book, you have all the instructions, the ingredients, and you know exactly what to do. All right, guys. So for today, we're going to make this steak just how you used to make it when you used to eat real steak. We are not eating real steaks because we are not going to harm any cows, guys. We're vegan, plant-based. All right, family? So we're going to use our butter, add some garlic, whatever you like to that skillet. Because we're going to pan fry this baby just like you used to do, guys. Look at this beautiful steak. I can't believe you guys bought this book shout out to all my followers and the people that love me and believe in this movement the movement of saving the world and being healthy here is a steak that wasn't even made in a lab guys it was made in your kitchen from my kitchen to your kitchen guys you're creating your vegan steak no animals was hurt in this process just good food simple ingredients in my recipe ebook will allow you to make anything that you want guys i can't wait for you guys to make these recipes and send me the video your boy here sitting here like yo where's these videos at who's gonna make my oxtails who's gonna make my vegan meat who's gonna create some beef patty and cocoa bread or something with the mock meat that I showed you guys how to make. I am here waiting and I can't wait to see it. I will blast it all over my page. I love you guys so much. The new year is here. I want to send a happy holidays and happy new year to every single one of you. This is the complete video with all the recipes attached. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Let's make Swedish meatballs. It's finally time, guys. This video is dropping this Sunday. So, Monday, you could pick up the full ebook recipe. I'm going to teach you guys how to make swedish meatballs from scratch all right guys as you can see i had the onions with the mock the ultimate king's meat we mix in that we making balls all right guys i'm using some grapeseed oil you can use any oil that you like you can also put these babies in the air fryer all right guys so we're gonna do this until it's nice and golden brown we're gonna base our meatballs so that they could cook fully through and out, all right? With this recipe, you can make about 12 meatballs, all right, guys? If you're making this for your family, depends on how much meatballs you want to serve. I would serve at least three to four, depending on who it is and how much that person wants to eat. Don't forget that the link is below for this full ebook recipe guys it's my first ebook and i worked so hard on it this is a volume one mock beef ebook i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make steak oxtails my oxtails video have been lurking around for years and nobody ever got the full recipe so i was able to finally get that recipe down packed for you guys to do and i can't wait to see how many of you guys recreate my recipes this swedish meatball 
is so delicious i'm using cream cheese for the, my, my cream because remember a lot of these vegan creamers out here to me don't replace that cream that we used to have when we wasn't vegan as you already know i've been vegan now for almost eight years so i'm here veganizing and teaching you guys how to recreate the dishes that you used to eat when you were not vegan all right guys all right, so I'm gonna drop this fresh parsley into this pan. There's two types of parsley's out there, guys. That's the Italian parsley and it's the regular parsley. I always like the flowery looking parsley. It just looks better. And it makes the pictures and the videos look so much unique and better quality, all right, guys? So again, the recipe will not be below. The recipe is dropping in my ebook with the link below. So if you guys want to purchase, the link will be available at 11.59 tonight all right guys going into 12 tomorrow so this video is going to be dropping at 8 so that means in a few hours i'll throw that link the link will also be on my instagram and i will make sure i share it so you guys can get this all right so again this recipe if you don't like to use oil you could use your air fryer you could use anything to mimic this recipe and if you have a nut allergy all right guys so my book is based off of nuts so if you have a nut allergy i do have different alternatives that you can use to recreate these recipes as you can see my pasta is al dente baby i right? don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share my ebook to everybody people that want to learn how to make their own mock meat instead of running to that supermarket and spending all that money when you could just find simple recipes that's in this mock meat book edition volume one shout out to all my patreon members my subscribers my followers thank you so much for being with me this whole time we made it we had 3,000 followers guys also if you can i will have my playlist in the description below if you could play that playlist in the back while you cooking while you chilling with the kids whatever you doing show your boy some love y'all already know i love y'all and i'll see you guys next week peace What's good, family? It's your brother, Chef Abdul. And today I got a special treat. This is my third recipe that will be in my ebook dropping November 21st. All right, guys, check that out. So meaty and juicy, all right, guys? I was able to get this mold from the dollar store, guys, for $1.25. It's real helpful, guys. Look how I was able to make my burger look just like Burger King or something. I added some onions to give that burger some flavor, some daya cheese. Heated up my buns. All right, guys. So now we're going to add this delicious sauce. Recipe is below. Adding some of the sauce to the buns real quick. All right, guys. Some tomatoes. Some of this lettuce and my mock meat and blad out. Like share and subscribe peace what's good family it's your brother chef abdul and we're back with this delicious recipe video in this video we will be recreating our vegan oxtails or some say mocktails the full recipe is in my ebook guys the ebook dropped Thank you so much for going out and purchasing this book, guys. I really, really appreciate it. The book is basically about how to make your own mock meat. If you are struggling as a vegan and you're gluten-free, soy-free, these recipes will help. I did not use any gluten at all to recreate these dishes. So for today's oxtails, it's soy-free, gluten-free, and lab free it was created in your kitchen guys you got the ebook so you got my full recipe all right guys so remember every mock meat that you create from this ebook you're using your personal seasoning so if you want it to taste like beef you know exactly what type of seasoning to put all right guys in my ebook recipe i also showed a few pictures of seasonings that I love to use that actually helps my food come out the way I need it to you know so as you can see I'm frying this vegan oxtails right so we're gonna fry it down so it could get nice and tender 
we're vegan so we're using non animals <laughs> all right guys so um back in the days you know you wash it up and you saute it and you fry it first and then you saute it in some nice brown sauce you know and in that brown sauce what did you put you put the green peppers the onions you know and the scotch bonnet you know and give it that flavor guys right so if you have the recipe in that ebook this is what we are recreating you're recreating your version your version all right of oxtails everybody have their own version all right guys so we're gonna just saute down these vegetables so we could add our vegan oxtails all right guys So as you can see, I added the oxtails to the pot, added my seasoning and the butter bean. To get more flavor, go ahead and add your scotch bonnet and some thyme. If you got fresh or dry, it doesn't matter guys, all right? And then we gotta add the water. So like I said, the full recipe is in the ebook. All right guys, so I can't really give you all the details, you know, run and get that ebook. If you got it, let's get the cooking. Don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe. Plaid out. We did it. Here is your vegan oxtails. Peace. Hi, Divinity here. Um, I got the Knox Tails from Vegan Kings and I am trying it. Look at those butter beans. Oh my God, look at the vegetables. Okay, here we go. That is amazing. And it has so much flavor and kick and spice because you know I like it me a little spicy. It doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> and we got ve vegan kings z -z -z -z. and um we about to see what this this vegan oxtails is gluten free soy oh wow and soy free oh that looks good i need a fork <laughs> or something you like right now i need right let me let me dip that's full or whatever this okay that's fine yes because you gotta be what the first is that's funny, he literally just hit me like, how's yeah, everybody? Calm down. Oh shit. Is it good meat? Oh my God, that is really good. That is super flavorful too. Oh wow. Um, hold on. <laughs> I want to double dip, but I can't. Oh, that was just beans too? No, that's rocking. That is really good. No, now legit, like, really good. 